the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Hi, babe. Tommy Wiseau's dialogue coach was Dr. Nick Riviera, which takes us to our bonus round. Let's count up every time Tommy says hi. Here we go. Oh, hi, Danny. Hi. Hi, Doggy. Hi, babe. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Danny. Oh, oh hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. And I say hi to her. Oh, hi, Danny. Oh, hey, Oh, hi, Susan. Oh, hi, Colette. Hey, everybody. Pillow fighting equals foreplay. God, Denny is a creepy bastard. Perfectly clear day just two minutes ago, now raining. Naval fucking. Come on, we're talking about AIDS. We're talking about lesions. The stairs are the best place to hit the G-spot. When laying down the soundtrack, the record skipped. Oh, hi, Johnny. I didn't know it was you. The flower shop owner doesn't know it's Johnny, even though no one on the entire earth looks like Johnny. You're my favorite customer. So what was up with not recognizing me? Can I kiss you? Holy shit, Denny is a creepy bastard. I'm just kidding. Holy shit, Denny is a creepy bastard. Tommy Wiseau reads lines he wrote like he doesn't understand them. I think I will ever get it. They betrayed me, they didn't keep their promise, they tricked me and I don't care anymore. The best drink to give someone who doesn't drink is a combination of scotch and vodka. If you love me, you'll drink this. That's how the Jonestown Massacre started. You're right, it tastes good. <laughs> Scotchka is not your mother's cooking. You do not need to lie about Scotchka. Tommy Wiseau cuts and pastes the same damn sex scene into the movie. Lisa suddenly grows a vagina in her hip. God is clearly angry at Johnny and Lisa having sex. Lisa's mom buries the lead about having breast cancer. Also, the movie buries breast cancer. Lisa's plan was to get Johnny drunk so he might hit her, but when he doesn't hit her, she lies about it anyway? Why are we even talking about this? Oh yeah, Lisa loves Mark and doesn't like Johnny anymore. Time for a bonus round. I like you very much. I love you. I love you. I love you. But I still have feelings for you. I love Mark. Because I'm in love with Mark. I like you very much, Mark. I'm in love with Mark. You know, I love you very much. I love you. I love you. I love you. I don't love him anymore. I don't love Johnny. And I don't love him anymore. Well, I don't want to marry him anymore. I don't have any more feelings for Johnny. I don't love Johnny anymore. I don't even like him. Not Johnny. But I don't love him. Who the f*** are these people? This guy gets cross-eyed before the BJ. How many people come in and out of this apartment every day? Good question. I also need a cup of flour and half a stick of butter. Doesn't your home have a kitchen? Don't your breasts have cancer? This camera move should be impossible. It'll be here in a few minutes. Chris R. has to carefully consider what the money is coming means before he gets angry about it. Good thing Lisa and her mom aren't there. Oh wait, yeah they are. Mark and Johnny escort a dangerous criminal to jail by themselves. Calm down, he's going to jail. Sure, the police just accept anybody you say needs to be in jail. What do you need money for? Money could be used for goods and services. Did you get involved with drugs? Huh? What were you giving them to him? Selling them to him? It's Denny that owes the money. Wow, Johnny and Mark booked Chris R. in the county jail in record time. Good thing Mark isn't there. Oh wait, yeah he is. I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. The sight of Mark always calms Johnny, whether he's being accused of domestic abuse or not. Well, we'll see. Danny, don't play too much. It may not come out right. What the fuck did he just say? Actually, it doesn't matter. San Franciscans love their football, as you'll find out. So, are you ready for some football? I think I'm in love with her. Johnny doesn't think it's odd when his creepy friend Denny expresses love for Lisa. What about Elizabeth, huh? Expresses love for Lisa, then says, fuck that. Elizabeth is the one I want to marry. You are tearing me apart, Lisa! There's nothing wrong with this scene. This is gold. Good night, Johnny. Yeah, don't slip on the semen on the way up. Yeah, I got, I got a little bit of a, a tragedy. Tragedy equals someone discovering your underwear. We were, we were making out, uh, at your place. Johnny is unfazed at the news that other people fuck in his apartment. She pulls it out, mm -hmm. and she's uh, showing everybody me underwears. All three people in the room. What the fuck is up with this scene? Lisa and her mom come into the room specifically to say all this shit about Johnny and then leave. I'll record everything. Johnny says he'll record everything, so tape recorder magically appears. Also, carries around a cassette in his shirt pocket at all times. Yep, this is how phone calls are recorded. Hook up a tape recorder to a phone, and the tape never runs out. 
Who the f*** is this guy? Did you hear the door? The doorbell just rang, f*** face. Women, man. Women just confuse me. Yes, this is a very suspicious thing to say. Peter, you always play psychologist with us. He is a psychologist. Don't you remember saying? But you are a psychologist. This is the opposite effect of marijuana use. Greg Sestero in Reefer Madness 2. Sorry. Yeah, we just go a little mad sometimes. Freudian That's slip. Funny. What client? No, I can't. Anyway, how is your sex life? Talking about his confidential bank partners really gets Johnny's mind in the gutter. Mark has finally graduated to the top of the stairs. Oh, come on, Johnny's my best friend. Mark seems to forget he's in a sexual relationship with Lisa in almost every scene. I have everything covered. Your point of view is so different from mine. Look, I don't want to talk about it. Scene where this reaction makes sense currently located near Jimmy Hoffa. I don't see what the big deal is. Doesn't everybody look out for number There's one? There's a line of dialogue for every grocery item in this scene. Hey, everybody, let's go outside for some fresh air. Did Lisa suddenly grow a vagina in her brain? Really? I mean, are you crazy? Everybody's here. No, they're not. <laughs> they're all outside. <laughs> and they'll be outside forever and ever. Who the f*** is this guy? You have got to be honest with Johnny. I agree with that. Who the f*** is this guy? There is no baby. I told him that to make it interesting. Lisa has lots of great ideas. I don't think Mark really loves you. Lisa's mom's breast cancer knows more about Mark than this guy does. Okay, enough with the plans to get everybody out of the room. Let's just start making out in front of them. Here's that cassette with six months worth of tape on it. Does Johnny really need to prove Lisa's infidelity after hearing her admit it two times already? Get out! Get out! Get out of my life! Yeah, get out. And I don't care about the baby anymore either. Uh, uh, Probably pretty close to what f***ing Lisa is actually like. This should have been done before the script was written. Yes, he's dead. You don't need to be a doctor to declare somebody dead. You just need to be able to read bloody fingers. You don't have me. You'll never have me. There's Mark forgetting he had sex with Lisa one more time. He's in a better place. For once, I agree. As far as I'm concerned, you can drop off the earth. That's a promise. Just Mark just couldn't leave this movie without saying one more thing that didn't make sense. Leave us! Denny is still a creepy bastard. Why did you do this to me?